right guys, we've got two vehicles on complete opposite ends of Japanese performance. Over here, we've got a Suzuki Jixer, the Hayabusa. They call it the Widowmaker because it is the fastest crotch rocket ever made. 1300 cc, 190 horsepower, and goes, I believe, 220 from the factory. And then on the other end, we've got a Honda Mini truck, which is uh, one of the greatest pickup trucks in our fleet right now. The Honda ACTY stock has 28 horsepower. So we figured, let's make the best of both worlds. We'll take the motor out of the Hayabusa and we'll put it into the mini truck and make an absolute monster out of it. This mini truck might wheelie with this motor in it. As stoked as I am for this build, it's kind of a shame to just wreck a perfectly good Hayabusa. <laughs> You're right. Let's just not R6 this one. I already put the first scratch in it, so. What did you do? You had a Ken was sitting on it. That's right. It wasn't even on. I'm not really sure how off-road capable these Hayabusa's are, so... <laughs> God damn it, I can it. Well, at least you got the first scratch out of the way. Oh, it's a dirt bike, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, it's fine. You can lay dirt bikes down all day. Jeez. Oh my God. <laughs> Sad though because this thing is in such good shape. Whoever had it last took such good care of it, so it really is a shame, but we're gonna get our use out of it. Vuitton goggles. Oh. 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 It's just downright slippery out here. Oh, I kind of stretched the groin on that one. <laughs> there it goes again. <laughs> it ain't working. Take the motor out of it. It's the only thing good. motor swap. Nice job, dude. 12 seconds. New record. Split the tire right in half. Won't be needing that anymore. The heart of the Hayabusa is out, and now comes probably the hardest part, and that's putting it inside the mini truck. The little motor in the key truck is ready to be dropped out. It's fully disconnected. Dragging it right up. All right, check this out. We got a little paint booth in the middle of the shop here. Uh, it's just an old tent. Should do the trick, but we got this thing sanded down. She honestly looks a lot better after sanding her. We kind of got rid of most of the scuffs and scratches uh, that this old girl got after the abuse of using it for the last couple months. She should be ready to have some paint thrown on her. And you can only imagine what color we're going to be painting it today. They call it pull me over red. <laughs> it's about as bright of red as you can get. Well, we got this paint booth set up. We should, uh, we should line up a couple other vehicles in here. Just paint everything red. <laughs> like, what is this ladder doing here yellow? You know? <laughs> like, come on. She's red. She's real red. We know one thing for sure. The paint is definitely brighter than the driver. It's not hard around wait, here. Wait, wait, who's gonna be driving it? <laughs> really any of us. Yeah, I spoke for all of us right yeah. there. <laughs> it is so red, dude. Literally everything in here is red, yeah, dude. You're gonna lose everything, dude. It all just blends together now. 
So this is what's taken the longest on this build, is uh, we had to wait a couple weeks for this fully custom Ford 9 inch rear end to come in. This thing is rated up to 1,000 horsepower. The only issue now that we're probably gonna run into is we're still running the stock drive shaft. That's yeah. probably rated for 40. Other than that, Gab's got a hole lined up here to start getting cut and then put the motor in place and start running everything else where it needs to go. So we figured if the truck was getting a new PJ and uh, we're gonna be throwing more horsepower down to the ground, we were going to need some new wheels to complete the look. So we hit up our boys over at Fitman Industries Custom Offsets and uh, they hooked us up with these sweet wheels. These might be the most hot boy wheels ever put on a mini truck. Sick, don't they? This is proper mini truck setup, especially for a high boost swap mini truck. Big shout out to Fitman Industries Custom Offsets. If you guys are looking for wheels, tire suspension, they got you guys covered. All right, so we got one more final touch to it, the Japanese license plate. These things aren't actually legal, so hopefully we don't get pulled over with it, but uh, we think it's gonna look really good. Oh yeah. All right, the moment has come, the first startup on camera of the mini truck. We're gonna decide whether or not we need a muffler. Here we go. Let her rip, Gav. <laughs> oh! <laughs> You're here. <laughs> What the, the hose just came unconnected. Yep. That's an easy fix. We got really lucky. That's why you do test startups, guys. All right, we got lucky there. We're gonna throw some more oil in this thing and uh, probably put the muffler on just because it's pretty damn loud right now and it's gonna be easy to take on and off. And then this thing is ready for Florida. Oh my God, dude. The license plate? I know. Oh, the tint, dude? This is good. so, so sick, bro. I haven't seen it with the wheels put on. Oh my gosh, this is so sick. Should I start it up? <laughs> Woo -hoo! Well, there's only one thing left to do. Roll her out. Florida. down in Florida, Ben rolls it. That, that would be the worst. Well, we made it to Florida, boys. Sexy red, that's what we call this thing. Seems to be a little bit more in its element here because uh, we couldn't even drive it down the streets in Minnesota. So we figured, what better place to go than Florida, our favorite state, and uh, our friend Clear's McFarland shop. It literally looks better sitting in the warm weather than it does in the snow. I'm just yep. glad to see this thing off the sand in our garage. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm gonna give you guys a quick little run through of what all we did to convert this 1991 Honda mini truck into what you see right now. Uh, so we started out with a pretty beat all white mini truck that honestly we had no intention of doing anything nice with uh, so it does have the dents and everything but we tried to freshen it up the best that we could so painted it red paint the front bumper black new headlights new tail lights and then really just anything else that we could freshen up to try and just make it look as good as it could uh, because we knew it was gonna run and sound awesome at the end so we got the wheels hooked up by custom offsets they're 15 inch wheels 
uh, with honestly a little bit of poke, but it looks really good from the side and from the front if you're looking at it. Uh, moving back to the motor, we have the 2008 Suzuki Hayabusa. It's 1300 cc, and we tried to utilize as much stock parts off of it to just try and eliminate anything that could go wrong. Over here, we've got the gas tank that we just painted red, and uh, we're still running all the stock fuel system and everything like that. The radiators down here to just try and keep it cool. Moving back to underneath it, which is honestly what took the longest, it ended up being a lot more work than we had thought initially. That was because of this rear end down here. So we had to make it go from a crotch rocket motor to obviously a truck drivetrain to make it work. So this is a nine inch Ford rear end, all custom, and then a custom drive shaft that goes off the spline of the motor and uh, into the rear end. Pretty intricate, but ended up working and looking really, really good. Moving on into the interior. We left all of this stock, except for we just added the crotch rocket gauge up front. It's still a six speed, but obviously we had to make it work with this stick shift. So it's actually just one up and then five down. So it's exactly like it would be just on the motorcycle, but instead of doing it with your feet, now you do it with your hand. So eventually we'd like to maybe redo the interior and uh, probably put a roll cage and uh, spruce up what's going on in here. But for now, we're gonna just rip her out she is. Reservoir. Ow! <laughs> Somebody missed a hose clamp. That was oh. me. Yeah, the big wrench. Damn, dude. Gas throwing shots at big wrench. <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> Let's go! Just a quick little refill and we'll be back on the road. Dude, this thing is badass. It's nice to see other people appreciating Sexy Red like we do. Yeah, that's what we named her. After the rapper. You know okay. what Sexy Red is? I, I don't know. Oh, you gotta look her up. Just bad. All right, I think we're back in action. We'll uh, head back to the Freedom Factory. Oh, that's crazy. That's like super cool. Yeah, thanks. Cotty yeah. in there? Hi, Busa. Hi, Busa. Wow, it looks great, fellas. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you. The uh, high boost is getting a lot of love out here. I mean, what would you expect though? It's a mini truck. Dude, Florida people just get it. Uh, yeah, he goes, that looks really good, guys. Congratulations. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's congratulating us like we just won something. Congratulations.
on the dyno and see uh, how much horsepower she really gained. Initially, it had 37 horsepower. I'm assuming it's got a little bit more than that. She looks sick on the dyno. Oh, yeah, I ain't gonna good. lie to you. It's a race car, it's where it belongs. I don't know if anybody has ever taken a mini truck on a dyno before. <laughs> So a solid 100 horsepower game. Looks about solid. tripled the horsepower that was in it. That's a lot of horsepower for such a tiny little truck. That's <laughs> <laughs> I did that one time and it rolled over and I sprained my neck, so I can't imagine it feels very good. Huh? We were just talking about how it usually slides on the bumper. That time it just did a bumper stand. <laughs> We've got two mini trucks. One's American, one is Japanese, and they are pretty much on the opposite ends of the spectrum. This one has got a lift and some mud terrains on it. And this one is basically just meant to go fast and look good while doing it. That's like you take out to win some street races. You know, this gets stuff done. We're at the Freedom Factory right now. Uh, if you guys aren't familiar, this is Cletus's personal racetrack. Insane. Congratulations, hey, brother. Thanks, brother. Appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> this is like everyone's dream. So I think we're gonna just do some hot laps. Do you want a drag race or just oval? I think we run a drag race. Start like here and race to the other corner of the pad. The only thing I have going for me is all wheel drive. So I'm guessing the first four feet of the drag race, I'll be in the lead. <laughs> We have a terrible track record when it comes to racing with Cletus. Ken did pretty bad. Evan took last place. Hopefully I hold it down for the boys. That thing's actually fast. I mean, I thought it beat me, but like, it is actually fast. Yeah. I surprised myself on that one too. You can't beat mini trucks, man. They're the absolute best. Especially when you get a couple of them together, because then it's just tomfoolery. Driveshaft just got permanently deleted. We also wrapped the wiring harness up in the drive shaft. That's not good. The worst part is I was like coat, like I wasn't even like fully on it. I mean, you were, yeah, you were driving it about as hard as you can drive it. You just. <laughs> Did it shut down right away? Yeah. Evan, this isn't funny. We spent two months building this thing. Drove all the way to Florida and you're laughing that oh, it broke. Okay. It doesn't that? matter if you spend two months building something, two hours building something, it ends up in the same spot. That is the unfortunate truth. Well, when we get home, I'll weld the trophy for you, Ben. It's funny, because Big Wrench told me before we left that we should probably order another one of those. Oh, it's funny, Gavin. <laughs> Yeah, it's hilarious. Oh, All right, well, we found the weak link of the mini truck build. So we'll get this fixed, we'll get the wiring harness fixed, and then finish what we wanted to in another video. We wanna do some burnouts and drifting with it, but there's a couple things, obviously, that need to be fixed and dialed in before that. So stay tuned for that. That video should be coming in the next six months or so. <laughs> yeah. So if you haven't subscribed, subscribe, and uh, on to the next thing. Since the mini truck couldn't do burnouts, Ken could in the rental. We gotta do burnouts in something. <laughs> Ken, let's see it. If you guys know anything about Ken, he has no remorse for rentals, so you know he's gonna be all over this. Well, it's a rental. Yeah. Nobody owns it. Well, somebody owns it. <laughs> yeah! Way to hold it.
it down for the crew. Hey, somebody's got to do it around here, so. You can always count on you, Ken.